Hello, Phil Jackson here from Build Your Salon, helping you with the tools you need to master to build the salon business you deserve. And today, I've got three avenues for you to explore to try and get some fresh ideas into your salon business. Welcome. Before we get started today, I need you to make me a promise. And that is that you're not going to be making changes in your business just for the sake of it. And I see this time and time again with the businesses that I visit as a salon coach. So please, by all means, look for ideas to improve your business and improve your experience of running your salon, but only make those changes that are actually going to get you further towards your medium and long-term goals. If you can make me that promise, I've got three avenues for you to explore where we can maybe get some different ideas that are gonna help enhance your experience. First up, I want you to look at your network in two halves. Firstly, I want you to look at the industry network that you're building up. So that might be through Facebook groups, it might be through attending seminars or training. And I want you to look at the ideas that are working in other people's businesses and see whether you could translate those into something that's going to help you as well. A slight caveat with that though, if you're only exploring industry networking, I do think that there's a danger that there's what I call received wisdom. There are things that happen in our industry just because that's the way things have always been done. And I think that's really dangerous. My message to you across all of my videos has always been one of innovation. So I think as long as you're doing your industry networking, that's great, but we also need to be looking outside the industry as well. So build your professional network through things like local networking groups, also look for things like self-help groups or group coaching, so that we're getting some ideas from outside our industry to improve our salons as well. Secondly, I want you to read more. I get through one non-fiction book every single week. And I can only do it because of three little tools that I'm going to share with you today. The first is Audible. I've always got an audiobook on the go in the car alongside whatever it is that I'm physically reading. Secondly, I use Kindle a lot. Not necessarily because I don't like the written word on a page, but because it means I've got the book with me everywhere. So if I do get caught in a doctor's waiting room with one of my children, I can use that 10 minutes and get through some more reading rather than just sitting and twiddling my thumbs. And the third little tool I've got is called InstaRead, and I've put a link to InstaRead in the description box below. And it's basically a service that summarises these business books in synopses that you can read in maybe 10 or 15 minutes. You may well then decide to go on and read the full book, but it saved me an awful lot of time and effort on books that actually I didn't really think I was going to enjoy. And then finally, I want you to look inside your business. I'm a firm believer that if you've had your salon for more than a couple of years, the answers to most of your problems will be in the salon somewhere already. Look back at the stuff that's worked for you before. Have a look at the marketing campaigns that you've run that have delivered you excellent results. Can you dust them off, freshen them up, re-implement them and get some success for this year as well? The other thing you can do is interview the people inside your team. And I did this. I had a very flat, demotivated team at one stage in our salon history. And I made a promise to myself, I didn't tell the team about this, but I made a promise to myself that I was gonna ask them all for one way that we could improve the business. What they didn't know was that I'd already promised to myself that I was gonna implement whatever it was that they suggested. And I interviewed everyone in the business from the Saturday staff right up to my senior management team. And we got some incredible, innovative ideas alongside some stuff that we could implement straight away. Really motivating for the team and really useful for me as a business owner as well. I hope that's given you some food for thought. If it has, don't forget to subscribe because I do a broadcast like this every single week and I would hate you to miss out on the content that I'm sharing. If you've already subscribed, I will see you again next week. Take care.